I guess I need to fix my capture here. Give me a moment. There we go. I mean, I can stream my scan sound levels. I'm just short on uh, short on space here. I'm gonna open my window real quick. <clears throat> So, how's everyone's Thursday? Hope you're doing well. You guys ready for some Sudoku? There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that properly. Thanks to everyone who congratulated me on 10k. Still a bit surreal that I hit 10,000 subscribers. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. Do I have any mods online is the question. I'm sure one will show up at some point. So how's it going, Rift Clown, AJP, Math Pesto, Sotech? So this is Sotech's puzzle because Sotech got to skip the queue. Sotech's a super supporter now. And one of the things super supporters get to do is uh, get their puzzle done as soon as possible. Hey, Thunder. And I am happy to do so for my super supporters. Yeah, I have I have so many super supporters. It's amazing. Hey, Pesty, how you doing? I'm just letting a few people trickle in before we get started. Let's see here. I can give you guys links and stuff though. Thank you, Sudoku Skunkworks, for the congrats. Appreciate it. This green cell here is the bet cell. Go ahead and uh, bet on that number. Somewhere in one to nine would be uh, preferable. Alrighty, so this is called Sand Scrapers. It's by Sotech. We've got normal Sudoku rules. Most outside clues are both sandwich and skyscraper. So sandwich clue means what we do is we look for where the one and the nine are in that row or column that's cute, that's clued. The clue is six, and so that means that these two cells must add to six. So we could do two, four, for example. So this would be a valid sandwich. Um, but they're also skyscraper clues. So separately, a skyscraper says how many cells that you can see from that direction. So if we move this direction along the row, how many cells can you see? And the vision of a cell is based on whether there's any cell before it that's bigger. So if I do um, three than one, this one is not visible because the three blocks your view of it. The three would be a taller called skyscraper. If I did three, one, four, right, the one is not visible, but the four is visible because three and one are both lower. So hopefully that's clear how that works. And the six is the count of the number of cells that can be seen across the entire row. So yes, it's the black clues that follow these. So the black clues are both sandwiches and skyscrapers, which I don't think I've ever seen that combination before. Um, the red clue is neither of those things. So it's kind of a negative. The red clue says, it must not see three cells as a skyscraper constraint. It could see two, it could see 10, or not 10, but nine. It could see two or nine, or anywhere, anything other than three. 
And the digits between 1 and 9 do not sum to 3. So we don't have 1, 3, 9 somewhere is basically what that means. Um, so yeah, that's it. We don't have that many clues. So I think we need to think about... How about this 8? I think starting with this 8 would be good. Because what this 8 means is that we can see almost every cell. So it, what would happen if this cell were a 3? Well, if this were a cell were a 3, no matter where we put the 1 and 2, they're not visible. And now there's two cells we can't see. So this cell cannot exceed 2. And then we can kind of pencil all the way down. Um, I, don't, I think I'll stop here, but the, the cell that we're, the, lar the largeness of the cell that we can put increases as we, as we move uh, across these skyscrapers. It's kind of how that works. So, right, now a, an 8 clue for a, for a sandwich um, can only have up to 3 cells in between the, or actually 2 cells in between the 1 and 9. So if you think about the 1 and the 9, how could we have 3 cells add to 8? We're not allowed to use the 1 and 9, so um, that wouldn't be possible. 2, 3, 4 would be the minimum, that adds to 9. So we can only have 2 cells in between, so it's either going to be 1, 8, 9 somewhere, or it's going to be 1 and then 2 cells that add to, uh, to 8 and then 9 somewhere. So if this was a 1, the farthest along I could put the 9 would be here, and that's way too big. So this can't be a 1. This is a 2. And that means that the 1 is hidden now, so we can only hide one more digit. So I think that means that this has to be a 3. Oh no, it could be a 1 or a 3, actually. Um, but how, how far along can we put the 9? So the 9... If the 9 were here, then that would be problematic, I'm pretty sure. Um, no, I think this is fine for the 9, right? Because we could put, say, two digits behind it. Oh no, that, that would be hiding two digits, that's bad. So the 9's here or here. And then, so let's say we're furthest along possible, and then the 8 could take two cells and the 1 would be here. So. None of these can be, I use green for not sandwich, none of these can be a 1, because otherwise, yeah, otherwise the 9 couldn't get down to here. So we can put a 1 here, we can make these add to 8. Now, how are we adding to 8, though, without 2, 3, 4, 5? I think I made a mistake here. I think that this does have to be 3. If it were 4 then both the 3 and the 1 would be hidden, and that would be bad. So this has to be 3. Does this have to be 4? Yeah, if this were 5, then we'd be hiding the 1 and the 4. That's okay, isn't it? Right, no, that's not okay. We can only have one, hide one digit. I don't know why I keep thinking we can hide two digits. We only had one digit, so that's four. And then this, if this were six, we'd be hiding the one and the five. So this is what. In fact, doesn't this just have to go in order? So now, if this were a seven, we'd be hiding the one and the. Oh, but we could put a one here. If we put a one here, then then we're fine. So yeah, that's as far as it goes. Yeah, it goes in order until you see the one. Now, the problem is now we can't actually make 8 and 2, because 2, 3, 4, 5 are gone, so, it to make, so the lowest we can make in 2 is 6 plus 7, which is definitely not 8. So this actually can't be a 1, because then we'd have to put the 9 here, and that hides 2. So um, this can't be a 1, so that's a 6. If this were a 1, we put the 9 here, this would be the 8, and then this would also be hidden, and that would work okay. So I think we're good here. Thinking about what I want to do next. Probably the sixth clue, but... Hold on, am I thinking about this wrong again? Right, I can't do this. Right, I can't do this because that would still... Um, that would hide two digits. 
So this is a seven. And then I gotta fit the sandwich in somewhere, so I think I think this is just forced. And then we'll use we'll use purple for sandwich glue. So now this three clue and <laughs> column dance. The three clue has to just be a three. So there's a three in one of these two, and then there's a nine one of these, and so these cannot be sandwiched. Um, hey Jack, um, not sure. If you come by more often, then maybe I'll remember. Three can only be done in three. Yes, I just did that. Um, and then the four clue cannot be done in two either, because that's only one three. So there's a four in one of these, and then there's a one here. So these are green. Hey, welcome Zimbabwean. Hope you enjoy the Sudoku. As the six, the next interesting thing. Yeah, so we can we can start we can look at this again. So how big can this be? We, we're hiding three digits. A six hides three digits. Um, the two is definitely hidden. There's no way we can un not hide the two. So we're hiding two more digits. If this were a four, we'd be hiding the one, two, and three. So that would be okay. So this can't exceed four. So this is one, three, or four, I guess. But it can't be a one. Because if it was a 1, I'd have to make 6 somehow. The, the best I can do is 6 and 2. Uh, in fact, I can't even do 6 and 2, because I can't do 2, 4. I can't do 1, 5, or 2, 4. So it would be a singular 6 and then a 9. And then that 9 hides everything else, and so we'd be a 3, not a 6. So the 1 can't go here. So the 1's also hidden. So we get to hide one more besides the 1. So we can kind of... Mark that. Um, now, where could the one go? We're hiding this one. We can hide two more. So this could be the nine. And then we could do four, two. The one could go here if we want to do two, four, nine. <clears throat> so these are not sandwich. Why can't I do one, two, four, nine? I guess the four would get hidden as well. So if I tried to do one, two, four, nine, oh, the four can't go here. So that's that's a really good reason. Um, so no, I can't put a one here. So I either have one six nine or one six nine. So the six is in one of these two. So these cannot be six. That's a three four five triple, and that places the seven. 
I don't think this can, can this be five? I think if this is five, this gets hidden. So if this is five, we have, well, we always have one and two hidden. So we only get to hide one more. So if this was three, five, four, we'd be hiding the one, two, and four, and then the rest of this would be in order. But the six also, oh, the six is also hidden. So that changes things with the six also hidden. So the two is hidden, the one is hidden, and the six is hidden. So we have to go in order for the rest of these. So I have to show the eight before I do the nine, and then I do one, six, nine. So I think that's, I think that's the only way to do this sandwich clue. So we've hidden the two, the one, and the six. Oh, you're right. The the ones the one nines do not have to go in order here, because the six is hidden regardless. So we don't know the order of the one nines yet. Um, I don't think this is in danger of being a three sandwich clue, so we're okay there. <clears throat> So we need a one nine with so we need a um we need a two somewhere. The two can only go here now in this row. Because if we put the two over here, it can't be sandwiched by it can't be in the sandwich. Right. So the, the two has to be here, I think, with the one nine surrounding it like that. I think that's the only option. And that means this one nine is here. Hold on, couldn't Maybe I went too too quickly here. Couldn't the two be here? So the two's in one of these. This is never sandwich. So I gotta put the eight here, right? Or I have to put the 8 after the 9. So the 8's here or here. So yeah, this is 7 or 8, that's true. Ah, but if the 8 were here, it breaks this 5 clue. Because we'd only be able to see one, two, three, and then a nine. So the eight can't be here. So this is the eight. And then now just this this uh skyscraper is just fulfilled automatically. So there's an eight up here somewhere. Not again, not on the five clue again. Let's see. <clears throat> this skyscraper sees four things. The nine is here. So this is almost a thermo. It's not quite helpful enough.
So where can the nine go in this row? Um, We need to be able to see five things. So one, two, three, four, five. So if this went one, two, three, four, five, that would allow you to see five things. But I think a one here would very much break the sandwich because <laughs> we couldn't put a nine till after it. So we can actually do two, two, three. We could do two, three, four, six. One, two, three, four. And then nine here. But that breaks the ability to have the five clue as a sandwich. So doesn't the five have to be two, three then? I don't know how to make a sandwich around this five. I don't think it's possible to. If this were a one nine pair, how would I, how would I see five things? This nine, the nine being as far away as possible, I'd, I'd only be able to see, the one would be here, I'd only be able to see two, three, four, five. Oh, and the nine. Oh, I'm not concluding the nine. So this is possible. Otherwise, I'd have to do something like nine, two, three, one. One nine around that. And then I'd have to... One, two, three, four. I think that would work as well. Wait, I'd see. I, I'd have to fill four, six, seven, eight. Ooh, but then the eight blocks it. Yeah, this doesn't work because the eight's blocked by this eight. So that means we do surround the five with a one nine. Pretty sure that's clean. And this can't be a nine because it's too close to the five. So we, we have the order. Hey, Jack. Um, we do daily games after Sudoku, so it's going to be in about four hours. So now I have to see one, two, three, four, five. So I need, I have to do two, three, four. And then this is a triple, six, seven, eight. Oh, yeah, I need to show the clock. Hold on. So yeah, let's look at column one now. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> excuse me. Where, how far along does the nine have to be? Um, we'd have to see three, four, we have four, five here. So we'd have to do three, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's the only way to do it is three, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, the nine can go anywhere. I guess they just have to go, well, if this were, if we put an eight anywhere, oh no, yeah, we, we already said we can't, we put an eight here. So. This has to be six, seven in order. And then that, that eight goes there because of Sudoku. And then the nine can go anywhere. But it's certainly not here. So this sandwich clue actually has one nine like this. And that finishes that sandwich. This column's done. So this is the nine. This is a one eight pair.
Pretty sure that's right. I think Sotek would tell me if I was wrong. Um, I, I'm going to put a little bit more thought into that, actually. Give me one second. So, if I don't put 6, 7 here, I'd have to put the 1 and 2 here. Because, I mean, I have the 4, 5 used. So I'd have to put, I, I can't put the 2 here. So I'd have to put 1 and then 6 at the at the minimum. There's kids outside my window. Sorry if you hear that. So we if we put the one here though, it needs to be part of the five sandwich. Um and this seven eight would be in it. So that's why we can't put the one. And we can't put the two because the two's here for the two clue. So because we can't put the one, six seven is our minimum which puts the 8 here, and then we have to see 5 things. We're getting the 9s, nothing other than the 9s visible after the 8, so we have to do 6, 7. So I was right, but I, I don't mind being a bit more rigorous here. Yeah, let's get the coloring going here. This is a pair. Now there's birds outside my window too. Alright, these are not eight. Hey Jessica. Oh, this he's a six, so we have five and six. So this is a pair. Uh we need a three, that goes here. And a five. And then this is a triple. Two. Four and seven. So let's keep looking at column one then. It is going to be one five nine or nine five one, um, and it only fits in in one place. This is the only place you can actually fit sandwiches that are one apart from each other. So that's where they go. And this is a five. That's green. Um. So more to do with this. Yeah, let's fulfill this pair. I'll get to that in a second. Uh, sorry. Um, we had we have a two and a four. Okay. Uh, we have this two clue here. So the two is between the one and the nine. So it's most definitely not here. So that places those two. Uh, it also means there's not a 2 here. So, in fact, this is the only place we can put a 1-9 pair with a 2 sandwiched in between. So that's where those go. And then the remaining cells are 4, 6, no, not 6, 4, 7, 8. Um... Oh, these fours do look left, so that's a two, that's a four, that's not a four. That one nine pair makes these green. This one nine pair makes these green. What's going to resolve this one nine? I guess the other one nine that ends up in here. Um... So this is a 
Ah, that's not a four either because of these fours. So that places this four and seven. So what clue haven't we used here? So this two means we see two things. Um, right, so if this was seven or eight, actually that, that just fulfills, doesn't it? The seven or eight just works with the one nine. Does the red three help? I don't see how the red three helps. I've been looking at it, but I mean, obviously it's not the sandwich, so it's the skyscraper that it's... <sighs> what, 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 what's it preventing us from doing? Um, it's preventing a six here with this a nine. Hey, chicken, welcome. We have the four and the three clue. Let's see. If the 9 were all the way over here, how could this be a 3? That's the question I want to ask. This would have to be an 8. So if we had 5, 8, 9, that would work. I don't see a problem with that. The 4 clue, on the other hand, we know where the 9 is. So this is a, this is a semi semi-thermo, as we said. Maybe there's more Sudoku. There's a six in one of these. There's children screaming outside my window. Um, let's see. We have one, two, three, four. We need five, six, seven, eight. That's not seven or eight. Wow, she's just screaming. Oh, these this can't be seven. Let's see here. Um, so there's a seven in one of these. Um, four in box five. One of these two. This is a quad. So we need two, three, we need four, and we need eight. Um, these aren't eights. Eats in one of these two. I mean, I've looked at that, Derek. I'm not sure. So if this is a one, it still works. Because we can do three, four. So if this is a one, this must be three, four. But I don't see why that's a problem. I don't see what breaks here. So if we did if we did three one four, what would be left? We'd have five, six, seven, eight. This would be five six. This would be five seven. Doesn't seem wrong. 
So if this was 4, 1, these just increase. Three, six, seven would work. Not seven. Um, okay, so the smallest I could make these increase, I could do a three here. This can't be four or five. It could be six. This can't be a seven or an eight. Ah, that's the issue. This cell, I should I should fail this cell. So this could be. It can't be a three. It could be four. It can't be five. It could be six, but it can't be seven, eight, or nine. This eight also. So this is only four or six. So with this being a six, how would I do two value or one value lower than six? Oh no, that that's possible. Oh, darn it. So, if this were a 6, I need a... I can't use the 4, so I would need a 3 there. So, I guess there's always a 3 somewhere. Because that means there's a 3 right here. So, I can place that digit. Well, we can't put a 5 here, Mark. It's a 5 in the box. Um, if this weren't a 3, it couldn't be 4 or 5. So it's either 3 or it's a 6. Um, is I think it could be a... Oh, no, it can't be a 7, because 7 would require an 8 over here also, and this that would break this cell. So... This cell could be the three. Hey, Andrew, welcome. Yeah, we already showed that two, three, one, four, nine was possible. We're wondering if the nine, four, one can go this way. Does the 2 5 pair in box 4 help? There's a 2 5 pair in box 4? Yeah, I guess there is. Yeah. This 2 5 looks down, forces 2 5 here. That makes this one a 1 9. <clears throat> and we, uh, we know that one of these is a 1 9, so this is the 8, and this is the 1. This is placed as a... Oh, this is placed as a 3. So this can't be a 3 anymore. So this is a 3. Um, that places this 8. True. Hey, farm boy. Welcome. Two, three, four, five. If I drink milk, very bad things happen to me. So I, I will not be doing that. Um, let's see. Four is placed in this box. That's five or six. I think we said that this can't be a 6, right? Well, let's see. If this is a 6, this one must be 9. Maybe that's what fixes these 9s. Um, so I guess we can't really say. Uh, 
Oh, uh, right. So where's four in this box go? These fours look over, and this four looks over. So this is a four. Um, so these are down to... Well, this is either a one or nine, or we have the six, seven. So... I'm getting the feeling that this is four, one, but... So, oh, right, so if this is six, this is seven. And we have two, three, seven, nine. Doesn't that work? In a bad way? What? Oh, now you guys get airplanes. Are you guys are talking about this cell? If this was six, this would be five. So we already see one. This could be nine. And then we see two, and that's fine. If this were one, then we'd see six, eight, nine, and that would be bad. So in, in the case of this being six, this has to be nine. I don't see why it's broken. Oh, but it breaks the one nines? I see what you're saying. So if this is six, this must be nine. But if this is six, this must be four one. That makes this nine, this one, and this also nine. Interesting. So if I kind of, if I colored those, I think it would be more obvious. Let me color these, blue and orange here. Okay, so this, one of these is blue. Um, so if I make, oops. so if I made this a six, then blue would have to be 9, which would put blue here. But then this would have to be 1, which would put... Sorry, this this could not be 1. Wait, what's the... But this would be the 4. Right, okay. Anyway, it's proven. This is 5. That's 6. Um... So we see 5 and 6, so we have to end it here. We can't see the 8. We'll, oh no, we can't end it here. 5, 6, 9 would be 3. So blues are 1s, and oranges are 9s. Good. This is 9 and 1. Um... That clue came in handy, nice. What do we do next? Um, nine in this box has to go here. So that places the three. This is not nine. So this now has to be one. It places the four. And we're done with our coloring. This is a seven. This is eight and six. Um, Six these up. Let's see here. This cell is a six. We need a two. And what else? 
two and a five. We go this way. These are not twos. Oh, these aren't threes, so that's two and four. Um, this two sees over, that's five and two. Eight and five. Three and eight, and we're done. Nice! That was a neat concept. Thank you, Zotek. And thanks for being a super sporter again. Let me get the next puzzle prepped. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. All right, this puzzle is called More or Less. It's by Liz Tush. Pet cell is here. We have normal Sudoku rules. Killer Sudoku rules apply. All right, so first of all, we have these cages in the grid that are surrounded by dotted lines. Digits in a cage can't repeat. So if I put a nine here, I can't put a nine anywhere else in the cage, including over here, even though you know normally you'd be able to by Sudoku. Uh, but you cannot repeat in a cage. And in addition to that, if you were to sum up all the digits in the cage, they must uh, fulfill the inequality. So in this case, these would all sum to less than 43. Yep, I'll give you the links. Hey, Panthera, how you doing? Okay, this inequality is just silly. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see if we can find anything that's actually restricted here. Yeah, I just saw that, Jalen. This 43 cage I want to look at. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight cells, so it needs to be missing a digit big enough that it ends up less than 43. So it, it must have a one and a two in it, is basically the way I read that. Because it could be missing a three, in which case it would add to 42, and that would be fine. So it has a one and a two in it somewhere. <laughs> That's a terrible mark. Um, is there any, if we can limit one and two somewhere else, then they may interact. I just don't know how to properly mark that. Um,
I agree. Box, bo column three and box three are both interesting, but I think box three is easier to reason about right now because it's all greater thans. So 12 plus 12 plus 9. Um, let's pull out a calculator here. I hope. Oh, it's behind something. There we go. Um, there we go. So 12 plus 12 plus 9 is 33. So these cells can't exceed 12. So there's like a less than 12 cage here. Less than or equal to 12, you're right. Um, but that, that doesn't even exclude 9. Good job, random user. Cages that can't have ones. Um, I don't know of any of those. If you do know any, let me know. I have two cats. Claudia and Gemini. Okay, that's true. Greater than 11s can't have 1s in them. We'll just mark green any cells that can't have 1. Uh, greater than 10s can't have 1s in them. Greater than 12s can't have 1s in them. Greater than 10s can't have 1s in them. So these cells at minimum are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that would add to 15. And we need to add to um, 18 or less. So that means this cell can't exceed 3, or it's impossible for these all together to sum to 18 or less. Um, so these can get two higher, so they can't. We can't put an eight or a nine in there, I guess. Hmm. So yeah, these greens are keeping ones out of the Fisto ring, except here. So we can have one one in the Fisto ring. Can we can we exclude one from here? If this were two, three, four, five, six, that's too big, right? Because that adds uh, that adds to twenty already. So we must have a one here. That means we cannot have that means we must have a one up here, so these are all green. And these are green as well. So there's no one here, which means that these cannot be sevens. These are not ones. Oh, but the less than nine needs a one in it. True. So there's a one in one of these. So these cannot have a one. Um, so 10 or less. So we're either two, three, four or two, three, five. So we have a two, three in here. There's no two, three here. So.
There is a 2 3 in here. Do we need to count twos now? Oh, these can't be one, by the way. So that actually puts one in this box. Are we proving Fisto? Um, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I will briefly um, go over... Here, I'll use Sotex Puzzle. I'll reset it. I'll briefly go over what the Fist of Fell Ring means. Um, I've proven this before, um, but basically in every Sudoku that has standard boxes, Every standard classic, every standard Sudoku, um, the blue cells and the red cells have the identical digits to each other. So uh, I'm not going to prove that right now because I just want to move forward. But um, that's what we used here because there cannot be any ones in these cells. So we can only have one one in the corners, which means we can only have one one on the whole ring, and this required a one. So. This one all proved it so we don't have to anymore? True. Ah, all of these are green except this one cell, so that's a one. That greens out all these. Let's purple it. Why not? Um... Okay, can we get to 19? 178 is only 18, so this can't have a 1. That seems intentional. Oh yeah, these can't be a 1, because these ones point down. These can't be a 1. So we have 1 and 1 of these two. Oh, right. This is less than 9. So if I put a 6 in it, I can't put a 6 in it because it's an 8 cage or less. Um, uh, all right. This one's green. So there's a 1 down here. So this is one with a eight or a wait greater than eight, yeah, one with an eight or a nine. We're not sure which. So the way we eliminated this one is that these cells here all have to be different. And so if they excluded a one, they'd be two, three, four, five, six, which adds to twenty. But this has to be 10 or less, and this has to be 9 or less. Um, or sorry, 10 or less, or 7 or less in these two. Um, so they can't exceed 17. And 20 is bigger than 17. All right. Um, and so that, that excluded one from this cell. Uh, because of the Fisto ring argument that we only get one one on the ring. Hey Connor, I only take Wordle suggestions in the uh, comments of the short. Doing it here is not helpful. Let's see. Um, ah, with a one and one of these two, these are green. And these are green, of course. I don't know if tracking ones is still useful, but I'm going to do it until it really feels not useful, and then I'll throw it. Oh, column three. Oh, we have a one, two, three, four, five. 
quintuple now. So we need the six, seven, eight, nine outside of that. Do we do we want to repeat the same thing with twos on the Fisto ring? Is that helpful? I'm gonna get rid of these. I don't know. These twos are making me think these point, but they don't. Um, I'm going to get rid of these twos for now. Um, box seven. We have all the highs in box seven. True. So. Greater than 10s need a 6, 7, 8, 9. Otherwise, we'd be 4 plus 5, which is 9. So if there's a 6, 7, 8, 9 somewhere in here, two of them, and then there's two of them here. So these have to be from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, which almost makes a quad. Yeah, so we can have two twos on the Fisto ring, but one of them is definitely in here. So if there's also a 2 here, then we don't get any more 2s, and that forces 2s into here. Ah, true. So this less than 11 cage can have 1 of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but it also must have a 6 or higher. So at minimum, these add to 7. So this can't exceed 3. That's a good point. Hey, Laszlo, welcome. All right, where does two go in this box now? It has to go up here. So now we have twos. Here in the forty less than forty three. Um, true. If we didn't have a one in this cage, then it would be two, three, six minimum because there's a six, seven, eight, nine in it. Um, and that would add to eleven, which is not less than eleven. So we must have a one in here. That lines up with these ones and eliminates one from all of this entire cage here, and from here. Oh, but there's a one down here. So these are not ones. Why didn't I green that a long time ago? So that is a one. And that is a one. So there's a one in one of these, and now I think it's safe to clear our coloring. Hey, thanks for the super chat, P. I haven't seen you here before, so welcome as well. He donated one dollar through super chat. Box three greater than eight cage. Ah, this one is placed. True. Hmm. It's greater than nine is such a troll. Keep looking at it.
So twos and threes need to go in this box somewhere. They can't both go here. Oh, and these twos look down. Ah, okay, so first we do twos in this, right. Two is forced into this cage, right? Because we can't put a two in a greater than 12. And these twos are looking down. So there's a two in here with the one. That places this three. And there's a four five pair here. So this already adds to three. We have to add two. So there's a six or a seven in here. This is two, six, seven. And now where does 3 go in the box? Well, it can't go in a greater than 12 cage, because 3 plus 9 is 12. That's not greater than 12, so this is a 1-3 pair. Um, ah, yeah, so these add to 4, so if that was a 5, it would be 9. That's too big, so that's that resolves all of these. This is a 2-3-5 cage now. Um, what math am I checking? Sorry, I don't know which math you're you're referencing. Greater than eleven. So I, I what what greater than eleven cage? This one? One of these? There's no gr there's no greater than eleven in box nine. You mean you mean less than eleven? It has to three, so we can't exceed seven, or it will be eleven or higher. Okay. Um, these are from six, seven, eight, nine, right? Yeah. This has to be less than 20. It's at minimum 15. If it were 6, oh, it can't be 6, 7, because that breaks the 11 cage. So it's at minimum 6, 8, which is 14, right? Okay, so it's minimum 14 and 6, 8. So this can't exceed 5. Not that exciting. Ah, these threes look up. There's a three in one of these um, greater than 11 cages, which is going to go with a nine. So one of these is three nine, which means this can't be nine, so it's an eight. That's a good point, Jalen. I think someone else made the point earlier, too, and I didn't pay attention. Box seven. If row eight, column three... And row 9, column 3, or any number higher than 6, 7, then the box breaks. Ah, yeah, so let's do a sum here. Um, these two add to at least 22, and then we have 10 in the top row. That's 32. So these can't add to more than 13, uh, and so they must add to 13 as 6, 7. And that puts the quad 2, 3, 8, 9 in here. So we're going to have a 9, 2, and a 3, 8. So there's a 9 down here, because these 9s line up. That means this can't be a 9. Doesn't that put a 9 in here? I think it does. So if there's a 9 in here, now we add to a minimum of 15, so we can't even put a 5 in here. Um, we could just do 8, 9, unfortunate. 2, 8, 9 adds to 19. 
This is, yeah, it's just completely troll now. Wonderful. Wait, is it? Technically, we could put a 5 here still. Without the cage. Right, so we need a 4 and a 5 in here, and the 4 would have to go with a 9 to add to that big enough, a 13, and the 5 would go with 8. So this is 4, 5, 8, 9. So this is not 8, so that means that this is 8, 9, and this has to be a 2. These aren't 2s, which means these aren't 9s. Um, okay. Right, this 8 sees down. That's not 8, which means these aren't 5. The 9's point. Oh, these 9's point right. True. So this cannot be 4, 9. So this, this is 5, 8. So these aren't eights. All the suits resolve. These are from four, five, six, seven. Uh, it can't be four, five, six. So this can't be a seven. These can't be fours. Four, five, six would add to. Wait. No, I'm wrong about that. It could be four, five, six. <clears throat> 4, 5, 6 adds to 15, which is greater than 13. Did we use the greater than 13 cage? We must have earlier. The 9 in column 7. Right, we can't put a nine, another 9 in this cage. So there's a 9 in one of these two cells by Sudoku. Um, so the remaining cells can only add to, uh, add to 7 or less. You can't have a 1 in here. So we'd be from 2, 3, 4, 5, I think. So we could do 2, 5, adding to 7. These can't be 3s or 2s. So these, at minimum, add to 13. So this can't exceed 3, then. Oh, there's a 5 placed here. There's no 5. If row 6, column 7... Ah, so now where does 8 go in the column? It goes here. True. Hold on, can I put a 4 in a greater than 11 cage? 4, 7 is 11. No, there must be a 4 over here as well. So this is 5, 9. That adds to 14, so this has to be a 2. So 
This is 2 4 with the 6 7. That's not a two. Um, ah, interesting. Okay, this is actually good. This two eliminates two from these four cells of our 43 cage. Um, but it must have a two, if you recall. So that goes in one of these two cells. So that eliminates two from here. Um, and that actually means that we have two twos in our... Oh, that places this two also. Uh, it means we have two twos in our Fisto ring. One of them's here. The other one's going to have to be up here. So we could have just done that by Sudoku, though. <laughs> but Fisto ring's more, more interesting. Um, the five goes in here. So, oh, oh, the five goes here. So this is five with six, seven, and then this is the three, nine. So this is four and nine. Um, Oh, but 5, 6 only adds to 11. That's true. So it's 5, 7. So that resolves this. Um, so this is the 7. That's 6. That's 9. That's good. So this is a pair. We need 3 and 4. And this is a pair. We need 6 and 7. Um, this four looks right. Thank you. I was reading that as row four. Like I read, it, I read it three times, trying to understand what you were saying, and I read it as row four three times. All right. Um, does not bode well. So five in this row is actually limited to here. I don't know if that's interesting. Um, right, so at maximum, these add to 16, and we have to be greater than 18, and 2 would only bring us to 18. Um, so 2 is up here, and that points, and that places this 2. I think that was mentioned before, but I couldn't find the greater than 18 cage. Um, 3, 4 pair result. I think you're talking about these, in which case I did that. Two in row six is also down here, but not in this cage. Box five, the eight and nine must be outside the cages. Okay, so obviously there's no eight or nine here because they're already used in the cage. So we're limited to here for eight and nine, but the question is, can they go in a less than 15 cage? Um, eight plus two plus three, I think is our minimum. That seems fine. What am I missing here? Oh, it can't have a three in it. It can't have a four in it. So two five would be the minimum. That's 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. Okay, so we can't put an 8 or a 9 in there. So 8 and 9 go outside of that cage. 
But they can't both go here. That breaks this cell. So this is an 8 or a 9. Could we go? We could put a 7, but it would only go here. So these can be 2. They can't be 3, 4. They could be 5. Um, and I guess they could be 6 or 7. This can't be 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. So this is a 6 or 7. Oh, and that, that limits these. Because um, these can't add to more than 8. So these can't be 7, right? Hold on. I don't think they can be 6 or 7. I think they have to be a 2-5 pair. I don't think they have a choice. Because 2, 6 would add to 8. Then we'd have to put a 7, which adds to 15. So that's 7. We could put a 6 or 7 here. OK. Um, cool. So the problem is this cage can be missing one of any digit beyond the 1 or 2. So. Um, there's a triple left here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Any... Uh, I don't see what to do with that. Oh, this can't be a nine or a seven, so it's a six. There's a seven and a nine already in the cage. That gives a seven, nine pair. That's not a six. <laughs> so this adds to 25. Yeah, well, it is greater than 9. It it removed 5 from, from here, which actually was important for all the logic we just did. Um, I think. So what is the next step? Hey Angola, welcome. How extremely polite of you. <laughs> Wasn't talking to you, Google, sorry. Um Oh, the six Makes that a 7, true. That's not a 7. Let's see. Hey, Moochie, welcome. The 7 does look right. That's 6 and 7. Um, you think this needs an eight? Well, it needs, okay, it can't have a six or a nine in it. So it needs a seven or an eight. So what happens if it has a seven? That has to go with a five. 
Other than uniqueness, I don't know how to rule that out. Oh, there you go. This 5-7. So if, if this had a 7 in it, um, and we wanted to avoid putting an 8 in it, Okay, if this, okay, let's put it this way. If this doesn't have an 8 in it, it definitely needs a 7. But then how do we add to 12 or higher? We'd have to put a 5 in there, because we can't put a 6. And we just said it didn't have an 8, and it can't have a 9. So that makes three five sevens in the column. So that's no good. So it does have an 8 in it. That's very true. Um, so now this has a 6 or a 7 in it. So in order to add to 11 or higher, we need a uh, 4 or higher also. So these are from 4, 5, 6, 7. Which almost makes a quad. Ah, the 8 does look down, so we get 9 and 8. That places this 8. Oops. That makes these 9s point up. Oh, and this can't be a 9, so that places this 9 and this 2. That's a lot more progress than I thought. So the 8's going to go with a 7 or a 5, I guess. Oh, or a 4. 8 plus 4 is 12. I guess that puts a 3 in here. Wait, but 3 in this column goes here with the 9. In fact, this 2 sees here. That's 5 and 2. That's not a 5. So this is the 5. So these cannot be 5. Um, so we need a 3 in this column. It goes here. That means this 5 and 3. Um, ah, 7 now goes up here with the 8. So this is a 1-4 pair. Ah, we know the order. Okay, we're making progress here. Oh, this 3 looks right. Resolves all that. These, um, ah, that's the 1. So this is 6. And this is 5 and 8. Which I don't think is resolved. I know someone bet five, so you're you're fifty percent chance now. Um, ah, this can't have a seven in it anymore, so it has to be five six. So that's seven. That's eight. That's seven. That's five. Um, this is a digit it's four. So that's six and four. This has to be bigger than 4, can't be 5, 6, 8, or 9, so it's a 7. Seven looks down, giving us 9 and 7, 3, 9, 8, 2. Ugh, excuse me, I am, I am tired today. Let's see. I need 3, 4, and uh, 6, it looks like. That's not 4 or 6, so that's a 3. Um, ah, these add to 10, so that gives, makes this a 9. In order to get greater than 18, so that's 3 and 9. 
Um, four looks down, giving us six, seven, four. Makes this five and six. That's four and six. Seven, six. And, ah, this one, eight. Nice. Good puzzle, Listesh. I enjoyed that. Bet solve was an eight. Unfortunate for the five betters. Did anyone win? Oh, it's fun. No winners. Hmm. You just spread out your bets more. That means I win, right? All right. Let's prep the next puzzle here. Alrighty, so I got a couple submissions congratulating me on 10k subs, so today's the day to do that. We're starting with Rift Clouds. He submitted this a long time ago. Alright, um, let's give you guys the links here. Oh, he even built in the bet cell. That's fun. So the bet cell's here. I'll uh I'll make that a little bolder. Uh yeah, Liam, we do a kind of um a little bit shorter word game stream right after the Sudoku. So that's gonna be in about two hours or so, two to two and a half hours. But yeah, that's what that's what we do every Thursday. We do Sudoku on Thursdays. These Sudoku streams actually predate my word game streams, so. All right, well, thank you, Riff Clown, for submitting this one and Skunkworks for testing it. Um, I appreciate the, uh, I did not put a call out for submissions, but some people wanted to do it anyway. Um, cool, yeah, so these are just the standard color um, lines, awesome. It says 10,000, 10K, we got squiggles for celebration. All right, so we have normal Sudoku rolls. In addition to that, we have these purple cells are Ren bands, uh, Ren band lines. And so, sorry, the purple lines are Ren band lines. And what that means is that they have a consecutive set of digits, but in any order. So let's take this one as an easy example here. Um, let's say this had four, five, six, which is a set of consecutive digits. I can put them in any order I want, as long as it's four, five, six, or as long as they're all consecutive. I can't do four, five, seven, or uh, because, not just because there's a seven there, but because these are not consecutive. You're missing the six. So. Oh, Andrew, thank you so and much for this $20. $20 through Super Chat. Very much appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, and then we have German Whisper Lines here. Uh, 
Um, so the way German Whisper lines work is as you move along the line, you have to have a difference of at least five. So let's say we put a four here. The only digit that could go after the four is a nine, because we need to have a difference of at least five. Now after this nine, we could go back to four, but we could also do three, two, or one, because um, this difference of eight is at least five. And then we just continue from there. This would be an eight, for example, um, etc. So those are the rules. Um, usually I, I color lows and highs, so because you always have to cross that five boundary on German whisper lines. Um, so if you're adding or subtracting five, you can't put a five on the line because that would require a zero or 10 next to it. And so you're always gonna end up less than five than greater than five and less than five. So we use orange for high and blue for low. Um, this is high, this is low. <laughs> In the little green circles an eight, yeah, maybe. That's what Mark wants at least. Uh, let's see here. So these O's are six cells. So a six cell Ren band must have a five on it. Um, cause we're going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, or nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Actually it needs a four, five and six on it. So let's, let's mark that. Must have four, five, six on these lines. Um, Hey, thanks, Cactus. This is a bit much to mark. Um, it's a lot of four, five, sixes in this box. Maybe I won't mark that, but we'll keep that in mind for now. Right. So these can be at most five apart, and they must be at least five apart, so they are exactly five apart. Um, so these are the these are the extremes of our red band. But that doesn't actually limit them. So if I color this, I'm not going to color it um, low high, but I can I can color it every other. So you can see what's going on here. Um, there there are definitely two highs on this line along with this high. So there's only one more high in the whole box. That's true, Gary. On ones and nines can't be in any of these cells. These can't be one or nine, because those would be the extremes, and we just said the extremes are on the whisper lines. So these these light gray cells can't be one or nine. Might as well mark that these are from 789. That's not a 7. These are 7. Ah, and these are not 1 or 9. All right, this ring needs a four, five, six. This ring needs a four, five, six. So there's no more four, five, sixes for those columns.
Ah, right. So five also for so five can't go here and it can't go on the German whisper line. So five is and it can't go on this whisper line. So five's in one of these two cells. Which means five is here. That's a good start. Um, greens, greens, greens. Uh, why is five placed? Oh, it is. Five in this column can only go here. Everything else has a green on it. Um, this ring needs a five on it, which is interesting because it can only go in one of these three cells. Maybe I don't look at ones and nines here. Maybe I look at five placement. Oh. This ring needs a five, one of these. So yeah, one is in one of these two, and I don't know what to do with that. Uh, right. So five in box six can't be here because of this five. This five actually rolls it out of the rest of the ring and column. So fives are in one of three spots in box six. All three of those see this cell. So this cell can't be a five. So this ring needs a five and it can only go in one of these two. That eliminates it from here. Um, so five's up here somewhere, which means five is placed here because these fives line up. This ring still needs a five. This box needs a five, actually. That goes here. So the box and the ring agree that five goes there. Um, my brain is tricking me into thinking these fives don't line up. I don't, so it's like there's like a slant when I scan back and forth. I don't know. It's really strange. Optical illusion. So, yeah, I was about to look at box eight. Yeah, five is placed. Um, I think we should be able to place this one as well. Yeah, this one's placed. All right. So other than this, that finishes the fives.
Six on the rings in column two, three. Um, right. So, yes, we need a six on both of these rings. But we can't put it here because it would go with a one and they see a one. So there's a six in one of these, which places a six here. So I'm being told that I can do something with high low here. Um, So these three are the same high lowity. I'm going to gray my fives here. Um, these three are the same high lowity because they can't cross five. And there's two purples here. So these have to be green because they can't be purple. Um, or we'd have five purples and we only get four of them, which means these are purple and this is green. This is high, by the way. Oh yeah, this can't be a six because it sees a six. These sixes look up, placing a six on this line. So there's a one and a six on this line. Uh, the six does not go here. Ah, so there's a six in one of these two and that makes it high. And then these greens are low. So this is two, three, four, and this is a one. I think that limits this ring a lot. You can't put a one on here, and if you put a two, three, four, it's got to go with a six. Um, okay, the ring can't have a one on it. Can it? No. The ring doesn't have a one on it. So two, seven is our best extreme. So now these can't have a two on them. I think Ice Cube's super behind. One in box seven. Ah, yeah, yeah. So to follow up on that, can't put a one here. This one looks down. So this is a one, so that's low and this is high. This is seven, eight, nine, just by Sudoku. Um, Oh uh, yeah, we have a high here and a high here, so we just need one more low.
Oh, these rings, these rings eliminate fours, so this is not a four. Um, there's going to be a four on one of these whispers, which means there's a nine on one of the whispers, so that's not a nine. So one of these is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one of these is six, seven, eight, which means that's three highs. I think we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? Hold on. Oh, and this can't be six, seven, eight. Right. Oh, no, but the. No, this could be. Hmm. I think, I think what I said isn't quite accurate because the six could be here from here. Hold on. There is a six here. What I'm thinking is whichever one of these is four nine needs to have five, six, seven, eight in these cells. So there's a seven, eight together on one of these two, along with the five or six that's here. So one of these is a seven, eight. The other is not. So the other is two, three, four. I don't know if that's helpful. Right, this is not a four. True, for this, for box seven, nine is forced onto this Ren band. So this is the, this is the four nine. Thank you. So this is the six, seven, eight. Okay. These are from eight, nine, actually. And these are six, seven. Oh no, this could have a seven. Never mind. Um, what am I saying? I don't know. Whatever I said is wrong. In fact, this can't be 7 8. It must have a 9 in it because of this 7 8. This cannot have nine, right? So that's the nine. Um, this can't have a two on it. We said that because two would be an extreme digit. Um, this has a seven or eight on it. Hold on, what's left for these? This is, we have the other three, four, and the five. So, we must be two, seven here. There's no other choice. So that's eight. That's eight. This is two. This is six eight. So this is seven nine. Uh, 
This is a three. So this sees two and three, so it's one, four. Uh, the four nine pair does eliminate fours, so that's a four. Thank you, SQ. Um, so that's a three. Right, and this three should have eliminated that as well. <laughs> um, Hmm. Siori has a point about four in row one. Ah, uh, four can't go with nine here. So four is in one of these, is that the point? Oh, this sees a nine. So this can't be four. That's one, that's four. Uh, so we have a two on here, along with a, uh, so the six goes here, along with a seven, eight in here. This is an eight. Um... Oh, this hidden two here sees the seven and the two here. Don't think the four five's resolved yet. Well, Row eight, the seven, seven looks over. One's in one of these two, true. Um, so where's the one in, yeah, so these, these ones look down. This one looks over, so the one in the box goes here, or the column, whichever you prefer. Three in box three. Uh, I don't know. One's in one of these two, uh, and they share a parity. So these are lows, this is high, and these are lows. These are from one, two, three. Just because they see this floor. Ah, this ring needs a four, so it's here somewhere, one of these two. Three lows in box three already, okay. These two are the same, okay, so these are high, that's low. <clears throat> So this is a 5-3 pair. There's definitely a 6 in one of these. I think this could be 6 though, double 1. 
Um, but either way, whichever one has the six, that forces this to be one. So that's where the one goes. Eventually breaks. How eventually? Row eight whisper can be colored. Ah, uh, these two are the same parity, so they can't be blue, so they must be orange. These are blue. That's orange. This is an 8 9 pair. This is from 2 3 4. This can't be 4. Um, I think this could be 4. And this is not a 6 because that can't be a 1. So it's 7 or 9. Right, this ring needs a 4, so it goes in one of these two. That C's left, so that's five and four. We can color it. This is two or three. It's not actually this is a three. That's five and three. So this is one or four. This has to be an eight or a nine because of the three. This it has to be a 2. Oops, not a 2. Oh no. This has to be a high 6. Um, ah, if this was a 1, this would have to be 6, because they're exactly 5 apart. Yeah, so. That's not a one, um, and one can't go in the middle of the ring. So one's not on this ring at all. That places one in the row. Um, so this could be six. So this is six, seven, nine. That's not a seven. So there's something with these rings I wanted to look at. See, that's not a three. Column eight, four, nine, pair and whispers. Um, right, we need a four in the column. So this is four, nine, because the four looks over. So this is eight, nine. That means that can't be a four. Ah, it's still a four. Um, can't repeat a four on the run band, so the four goes here. So these two are high, and they're six, seven, nine. Oh, this two sees down, that's three and two. So this could still be seven. Um, oh, this is done. It's a six. The nine sees over, that's four and nine. Low and high. This is a six or an eight. Oh, it certainly can't be six, so that's an eight. Oh, it's obviously it's six anyway. Um these two are low. Two, three, four. The four is in one of these, so that's not a four. 
because of the two, three, four, triple here. Um, eight and nine C up, so that's seven, six. So that's nine, eight, nine. Okay. Two and column nine. Well, this is just a triple now. Um, in fact, we know that this needs to be seven, eight. So that goes this way, and then that's the two. Um, so this is three, five, and six. So that can only be five. Gray. That makes this a five. So this can't be four because it needs to be an extreme. So the four goes here. That's not a four. That places this four. So this has a low on it. That's the last low. So this can't be low. It is high. Um, so the low is a two or a three. It would be a 3 here with an 8 here. That's not possible. Um, so it's a 3. Wait. What was I saying? It's a 2 or a 3. It would be a 2 here with a 7 here. Or 3, 8, which would be 3 here, 8 here. Oh, no. Neither of these can be 8. So it is 3, 7. Okay, no, two seven. Um, sorry about that. That's a three. I probably could have figured that much easier. Um, but we got there. Uh, let's see. This is seven or nine. It can't be a nine, because you can't put a nine on a ring like that. Oh, wait, I marked that wrong, because I trusted this pencil mark. That's a nine, that's a seven. This is actually a six. Okay, um, that's not a six. That's a six. Bet cell was a six. Congrats. To, I don't know, who bet six? Um, that's a four. I think we're cleaning up. Uh, the seven sees up and down. This is a two. Yeah, this was fun. Thank you, Earth Clown, and thank you for making a special puzzle just for me. Um, that's a seven. This is a nine. Uh, what's this going to be? This is going to be high, and it's an eight. All right. Very cool. Thank you. That's very kind of Cloud, thank you. Um, I have another one. And I already have it ready. This one is from Florian. If anyone in chat has submitted a 10k and it's not one of these two, um, do let me know and I'll, I'll hunt it down or maybe message it to me again. Um, if you did happen to make a 10k puzzle, I'd like to do it today. Math Pesto did. I don't um okay can you can you message me on discord with the info <clears throat> or did you submit it I'll, I'll figure it out after this puzzle all right so this is 10k subs by florian vortman 
Um, normal Sudoku rolls, Whisper, Little Killer, X pairs. Okay, so um, we just did we just did German Whispers. As you move along the line, the digits must differ by at least five. Um, these are little killers, so that means that as you move along the diagonal, you just sum the cells, and they have to sum to the, the number given. So these three sum to ten, these two sum to ten, etc. And digits separated by an X must sum to 10. And not all X's are given. So I'm allowed to have these two sum to 10 if I'd like to. And that's it. Those are the rules. So I think starting here might be a good idea. Actually, fives. So you can't put a five on an X or a German Whisper. So. There's a five in one of these two. There must be somewhere better. Um, there's a five in one of these three for the column. So one of these four. Row seven. Ah, this row that places this five. Um, there's a five down here, definitely. So that places this five. Um, what else? That might be it for fives for now. I want to look at this ten. So we know there's a low and a high. Um, so at best we're doing six, one, seven. So this number has to be low. It's a one, two, or three. <clears throat> so there's also a low on an X. There's always a low and a high on an X. Um, so we have two lows accounted for. And then the other two will be one of these. And so this has to be high. Um, let's see, if this was high, it wouldn't be able to be a 6, so 7 minimum. This would be a 2, that adds to 9, this would be a 1. I think that works. What's wrong with that? Oh, no, I know why it doesn't work. If this was a 7, this would be a 1 to pair. This would be a 3, and this would add to 11 or 12. So this one's low and this one's high. And this can't exceed 7 because 7 plus 2 is 9. So this is a 6 or 7. This is a 1 or 2. Um, so this is high and this is low. Oh, good night, Panthera. I hope I caught you before you left. Ah, so we have something similar going on here. Uh, maybe. So if this was a... This can't be a 6. If it was a 7, we'd have a 1, 2 pair across it. Best we could do here is 3, 4. That adds to 14. So yeah, definitely. Um, this one's low. These two are high. This one's low. Um... I can purple green this, and the reason I want to is because of this 10 sum. Makes that also green. Um, four sixes in row seven. Um, So this can't, so let's use black. This can't be 4, 6. So let's use, I don't know, it doesn't matter. Um, this could be 4, 6, obviously. Oh no, but no, since this can't be 4, 6, this also can't be 4, 6. Because that would, you'd have to add to 10, right? Um, this can't be a 4, 6. And this can't be a 4, 6. So this is a 4, 6 pair. Nice. Um, in fact, yeah, 
Venga, ya. So the 4-6 does go with the 1-9 pair, you're right, so that's not 9. <clears throat> if these were blue, these would be orange. Oh, okay. So between these four cells, since these are these two are the same parity as each other also. Let me use red and yellow here just to demonstrate. So these two yellows or these two purples join the two blues using up all of our lows. So these are higher five. Um, I don't know how to... Find the five exactly. Column nine. In fact, these these can't be actually. If these were per wait, am I wrong about that? What if these were all just high? Then these could be low. I'm wrong about that. We have all our greens here. So one of these, okay, yeah. We All our greens are used in this box. So one of these two is going to be purple, at least. And so that makes three purples in the column. They can't join two blues to be blue. So purples here are high, and greens here are low. Good. Um, So these are high in five. Ah, this one can't be low. It must be high. So yellow cannot be high or it will be too many highs in the row. Wait, am I right about that? No, it could be five, right? Eight. No, this could be five. Okay, if these are high, then this is five. Darn it. Right, so it's higher five. Um, that's no good. Highs are done in this box, kinda. So these are blue fives. Box nine needs two more blues. Ah, so one at least one of these two is blue, which means only one of these two can be blue. So so that means this one or no sorry we need highs here not blues. Ah, oh, never mind. The oranges here. Uh, let's see what to do there. Alrighty. Um
Maybe it has to do with this 10 clue? Can't put two highs on it. So there's at least two lows here, third one here, fourth one here. So this cannot be low, but it could be five. So it's higher five. All right, so Garyon says this can't be a nine. If this were a nine, it would need to go with a one on the 10 clue. Uh, but then now you can't put a four anywhere. Um, why can't we put a four here? Ah, this can't be a four because these two would be nine. This can't be four because these two would be nine. If this were four, this would be nine. Um, so yeah, so this can't be nine. It's six, seven, or eight. Which means this is one, two, or sorry, this is two, three, or four. This is seven, eight, or nine. These can't be four, so they're one, two, or three. An interesting observation here is, let's say this weren't a 1, it would be a 2 or a 3. So this couldn't be 6. If it were a 3, this would be forced to be 8, and this would be a 2. Right? And if it were a 2, this couldn't be 8, because you'd have to double up the 2. So 2 would go with 7, 3. So if this is a 2, 3, then this is also a 2, 3, making this a 1. Um, so one is in one of these two. So this is also two, three, four. But I feel like maybe this being a two, three pair is, is helpful. Um, this would be one, nine, or four, six. This is seven, eight, nine as well. So either this is four, six, or this is the six, for what that's worth. No one sees anything, huh? Oh, I didn't give you guys the bet, so there you go. You can bet at least. I'm not talking to no one, am I? <laughs> Still alive? Maybe my chat broke. Let me refresh it. No? All right, I'm getting bets in now. Let's see here. Can this be a three is the question. It would be three. Eight, two, nine, eight. This would be a one, and this would be a four, nine. So what goes here? Three, seven, with a six here, and a two here, and a one here, and a seven here. It seems to work. Unless something broke that I didn't notice.
Oops. Ah, that works really well, actually. My tester said this one was a normal puzzle, normal difficulty. All right, see you, Rift Cloud. Glad I was able to get your puzzle in before you had to go. Um, okay, so an interesting observation, I don't know if it's helpful, is that if red is blue, then one of these is a four. Um, which would force a nine here. It would have to be this one, because th this can't be double nine, because that breaks this whisper. So it would have to be four here with this double nine. Does that break anything? Does four here with double nine here break anything? It resolves this as one, six, nine, four. Puts four down here. Doesn't seem broken to me. Um, okay, so where does four go in this row? Oh no, six. Should I ask about four? No, I should ask about four in this row. So where does four go in this row? If this was a four, this would be nine one. Um, that actually seems okay. Hold on. What's well, keeping this from being a four or a six, I guess, is my question, Laszlo. So I agree that this can't be, these two can't be four or six. Okay, if this is 4, then this is 9, 1. What's the problem? Ah, that breaks this cell. Oh, that's easy. This can't be 4, because 9, 1 breaks this cell. Um, similarly, this can't be 6, because 1, 9 breaks this cell. So where does four go in the row? It can't go here or here, because it would be surrounded by, sorry, double nines. And then double nines. So the four goes here, it's low. Um, and where's the six go? Again, the six can't go here, because one nine breaks. So um, the six goes in one of these two. I guess is the conclusion there. Sorry, I need a break real quick. Give me a second.
Alrighty, sorry about the wait there. <laughs> okay, so... Hey, Karsoon, um... I did explain the rules at the start of the puzzle, if you want to go back in the stream. Alright. Okay, yeah, we need four lows in the row. One of them's here, one of them's here, one of them's here. So this is a low. So we can finally color this one. Which also allows us to color this one. That's all the lows for this column. So this can't be five, so it must be high. Hmm. So this is two or three. <clears throat> we know this can't be nine, so it's seven or eight. Making this also two or three. So these are, oh, and this can't be four. So this is one, this is four, this is nine. This is one, two, three. I think that's all correct. Why does it make um, a row one, column three? Well, I don't get that at all. Um, okay, maybe you can explain. Ah, this is five or higher. So at minimum, these add to six. So this now has to be low. True. Thank you. Um, wait, these add to, I guess these add to three minimum. So this can be five, six, or seven. <clears throat> It's three lows. So we have all our low. We knew we had all our lows already. Um, not knowing where all the fives are makes coloring tough. Let's see. What did all this get us? Six in column two. Oh, yeah, one of these two is a six. Oh, and that can't be a six, right? So that's six. That's seven, eight. Um, hmm. So this has to be at least two. No, wait. This can't be four. That's what I mean. Um, let's see here. That was not a one. Yep, I, again, Karsoon, I, I did go over all the rules at the start of the puzzle, so you can go back to the beginning of the puzzle and explain them all. Um, but yes, green lines are German whispers, the X's are the X pairs, and the these diagonals point at the little killers here. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> it's interesting that either this is six or this is four. Wait, yeah. Oh, thanks so much, David. David Ratner donated $10 through Super Chat. In honor of another 10k puzzle tonight and the 10 little killer clues. Thanks again, David. That's very kind of you. You're always so generous. 
All right. Um. Yeah, we have all our. Oh, and we have a five, right? So these are lows. We have all our highs, and we have our five. Um. Oh, that's not two or three. I was thinking about this, though. I think these two... I don't know if it's right to say that these two add to ten, but... It's a bit strange. Like, if this isn't six, then this has to be four six. But otherwise, if this is six, we need to put four somewhere, and this is four. So there, there's a four six either here or here, but that that may not mean a whole lot. Um, it's just an interesting observation. So you're saying row four column one is high. It's higher five. Oh no, five is in one of these two, that's true. So these are high. So that's all our highs taken care of. So now yellow is low, good. And reds are high. So this is one, two, three. So is this. This is orange. Yeah, we have all our lows. So this is orange. Uh, right, this can't be six because that would put double one here. So this is seven, eight, or nine. Oh yeah, and double one here is bad because it breaks this. I, I mentioned that a while ago, but figured I'd re-mention it. Um, this could be six still. Hmm. Oh, this is not a 9. It sees a 9, so that's a 7-8 pair. So this is 6 or 9. Um, right, this is higher 5. This is higher 5, right. So we have all our high 5s here. High 5. All right, and so these are low. One, two, three, four. One of them is a four. Oh, neither of them is one because of our logic over here. Um, five, six pair in column one? No? Where would we put the... Oh, this can't be seven, right? So this is a five, six pair, right? Just for the box. Um, so these are from seven, eight, nine. Uh, this is not a six, so this is seven or eight. I wonder if we can color this one at all. Let me, let me green purple it just to, um, help me eyeball what's going on here. Right, so if this is a six, this is double one, and then that breaks the one nine pair. Box one, the little killer is five, two, three, or six, one, three.
Okay, so if this is a 5, then these two add to 5, so that's 2, 3. If this is a 6, then these two add to 4, which is 1, 3, so there's always a 3. So that cannot be 3. Does that do anything interesting? There's definitely a 4 in one of these. Nothing interesting yet, yeah. Um, I want to make sure I followed through on that. Let's see. In the K. I stopped too soon. I went too far. So if you have to keep going, that's not that's not great. Um This is seven, eight, or nine. Hey, Sports Z, welcome. Um, hi, Claudia. How are you? Are you? If there's a way to boil it down to something easy to see, then I'll use it, but this is two or three. This is a one and a four. It's a four. Audio would like to say hello. Hello, stream in you. She's very cute. What about this X breaks in what situation? So this X can be six one. It can be two, three, seven, eight. It can not six, one, six, four. Um, it can be one, nine, or it can be two, three, either way with a seven, eight. That's just, that's a lot. Six four would re I mean there's just there's options. Um Row four. If the X is two eight or three seven. It makes a two, three, seven, eight, nine quintuple in the row.
So if this were 2378, that makes a 23789 quintuple. So this would be a 1. This would be a 6. I don't see an issue. No, very cute. All right, good night, Sportsy. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do here. <sighs> I don't see anything. Three in box nine goes down here. So three's on here somewhere. Ah, hmm. does it? What if the three is here? Oh no, it still doesn't matter. So no matter where this three goes, it's gonna put an eight nine pair around it. So the three goes with both an eight and a nine, and that resolves this one here. And that that's gonna be very helpful. Good spot. Um, so now this is two, three, or it can't be, Excuse me, can't be four. So this is two, three. So this is either one, nine, or four, six. And there can't be a four on here. Um, so four goes down here. That sees that, so that's a one. That's not a one, so that's the four. This is uh, where the six goes. This is not a nine. One in box nine. Ah, this is not one. These ones look over, placing this one. So now these two have to add to nine. Six, three, or seven, two. Hmm. 
This can't be a four anymore, so four is here or here. All right, this is two, three, eight, nine. That's not a nine. So this is four, five, and what? Four, five, and seven? So that's an eight, that's a seven. That requires two here and a three here. These are not threes, these are not twos. Um, that's not a seven. This can't be six anymore, so that's a nine. So that's not nine, that's not one. Um, no, we got this one. Once we, once we cleared this out, then that looked up, cleared the one from here, and that forced this to be nine. So we, we missed it for a little bit, but not that long. Um, How's the B fixed? Oh, the 9 looks down. Ah, oh, 3 8 pair places 2 here. So green is blue. Purple is orange. So that's 8, that's 9, that's 3. So this is 7, 8, 9. Not an, not an 8 or 9, so that's 7. And then this is 1 or 2. Very nice. That's not nine, that's not one, so that's a four six pair. So four goes on one of these. Um Ah, three is in one of these three. That looks up. That all oh, might have been a bit too excited, but it does eliminate a digit, a candidate. Um, ah, there is a two in the column, so that's a one. So one goes here, right? For the box. And that places the five. That's very handy. So this is not a one, and now we can uh, we can use our logic we had before. But this is now a two three pair. That's four nine. That's not a nine. Um. So this is seven eight nine. This is a five. Um, five in this box is up here, so that gives us the six in the five. Uh, so that's high, and that's high, and that's low. So that's high, it's not a three. Um, this is a six, this is seven, eight. Um, right, 9 can't go on an X because it can't be with a 1, so the 9 goes here. So this is 4, 6, and then it's 2, 3, 7, 8. Can I limit that at all? Well, these this can't be 2, 3 at all because of the 2, 3 pair. So this is the 4, 6. Oops, 4, 6. And then we have the other 2, 3, 7, 8 here. That's not 7, so that's not 3. Um... 
This is seven or nine by Sudoku. Oh, but it sees a seven, so that's the nine. That's eight. Ah, oh, that's seven by Sudoku. So that's six. Um, this one looks up, so does the two, so that's a three. So that has to be eight by the Whisper logic. That's seven, eight. Um, that can be two or three. Oh no, eight goes with two on the ten, so that's a three. That's not hasn't been a three for a couple seconds. Um, okay. I think this is a three nine. Oh no, it's not a three nine pair, but nines do go on one of these. Hmm. Oh, the little killer. These sum to eight, so that's a two, that's a three, that's a two. Um, so this can't be two eight, so it's three seven. Okay, so that was this this stuff over here was really important to find. Um, let's see here. This can't be seven. This can't be nine. Ah, five in the row goes here. A low and a high. Ah, this three C's left. That's two. That's three. So that has to be eight, seven. Um. So yes, we have an eight in one of these two. That means this is nine and seven. Oop. Whoop. Uh, I did a few too many as nine. That's nine and seven. Um. It's not a three. Um, naked, you say. One, two, three, four. Can be five. Where? Oh, see, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Sees all the lows, all the highs. All right. So it's five. Nice. It's not five or seven. So that's a four. That's six and four. That's a two and a four and a two. Uh, that's three and nine. That's always a three. Congrats to uh, Bremster. Bremster always bets three. Um, let's see. This is a two eight pair. We know the order. That's a one and a three. These aren't fours. Um, I guess this is also five seven. Oh, but it can't be five. So that's seven. That's five. That's seven. Wow, this puzzle was uh, was intricate. Wonder what. Wonder what we were missing for so long. It made it so difficult. Let's see, we need a one. That's gonna go here. That's high. This is the one and this is a six. Nice. Well, thank you, Florian, for the puzzle. Um, I'm gonna check out uh Math Pesto's puzzle now. We'll be right back. Ah, you can't hear me. True. 
Uh, Matt Pesto, do you have a bet cell? So let us know in chat. Oh, thanks so much, Ice Cube, for the uh, five bucks for the super chat. Screaming Ice Cube donated five Canadian dollars through super chat for an enjoyable evening of great puzzles. Thanks so much. Row nine, column five. All right, you got it. So here's our bet cell. I'm very loved today. Lots of super chats. Thank you so much, everybody. Um, so this is called 10,000 Cheers and Whispers by Math Pesto. So we have normal Sudoku rules. And standard killers. Oh, we got our list hash killer cages here. So digits in these cages sum to the inequality. So these sum less than 9, these sum greater than 13, etc. We have whispers. So the green lines are whispers. So as you move along the line, uh, the difference between the digits has to be at least five. And then cheer lines are the orange ones. Adjacent digits on the orange lines differ by five or less. So kind of the opposite of whispers. Very nice. I don't think I've done those before. So let's see, how do we want to start? Um, well, we have a given one here, so we might as well fill the candidates here. We have to differ by five or less. So these are two, three, four, five, six. Um, let's see. Greater than 10. So these sum to 11 or more. Um, so obviously 4, 9 would work. What's the lowest we can make the high digit? So obviously we can do a 9. 8, 3 would work, but 7, 2 would not. So we have an 8 or a 9. And then the 9 can go as low as uh, not 1 or 2. No, as low as two. Um, but we can't actually put a four on this whisper line, not in these two spots. So it's two, three, eight, nine. Um, yeah. So now this has to be less than 10. So how high can we make the digit, um, the high digit? A six, one would work, but we can't actually put six in either of these. In fact, this digit here, if it were a high digit, would have to be higher than three. It would see a three. It would have to be an eight. And eight three was too big. So this can't be the high digit. This is the low digit. I'm pretty sure that's right. You guys correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, No? Okay, if this was high, this would be low, this would be low, this would be low. So it would see a three. So this would be an eight. Oh, you guys are saying it can be eight one. I see. Okay, so it's not, it's just very restricted, but it is possible. So this can't be a 6, though. So it's either an 8 or it's a low digit. If it's a low digit, it's 8, 1. If it's a low digit, then these three would be high. So it would be C a 7. So it would have to be a 1 or a 2, which, uh, See, this one, if it was high, would actually also, wait, maybe that's the key, it would also see 3. So the high is always 8. So we're always 8-1. We just don't know what order. Okay, that makes sense. Um, 
So this this is a two three pair, or this is a two three pair. Um, column seven sees three whisper cells. What are we saying? I can use the same kind of logic in box nine. I don't see how it helps in box nine. Um, oh, three would be too big because three would three would require eight nine and three different cells. So this can't have a three, which I think means it has to be two nine because eight two only adds to to ten. Whichever one's a two is going to be with seven eight nine. So here, this cell only sees two. Um, Laszlo spotted something. Box seven whisper high low can be decided. Oh, yeah, these are the same parity as each other. So if they were six, seven, that's already 13, so that's no good. So these two are low. Thank you. Um, and then them being low just fulfills the cage. Um, this can't be four or two, so it's one or three. A three would require eight, nine around it, which, oh no, it sees a one also. So this is just a three with eight, nine around it. Um, these are one, two, four, I guess. Uh, I guess four could go anywhere. Hey, Gabriel. Oh, this can't be two. Um, that is all right. I'm pretty tired today. Let's see. So two is in one of these two. So two is up here. It does restrict the range of all these cells a bit. <clears throat> Actually, yeah. Not quite, no. Mm. Darn it. Low digit in row one, two, column two is a two. True. We can't put a four in either of these, so the last low is a two. And then the two goes with a seven, true. So it can't go with eight or nine. So this is a triple. We have one, two, three, we need four, five, Six. Less than twelve. So we can't so we can't exceed seven, I guess. <laughs> so eight nine is limited in this box quite a bit, but not quite enough. Um eight is down here. Um
Hold on, this one can't be seven. It sees three cells. They'd have to be one, two, and all of them. So this is the two, this is the seven. <laughs> six one two has to be at least three. True. Um, so I can color the rest of these. So these are an eight nine. These are from. Well, this is from one or three. Oh no, this is a one because the seven surrounded by one two. This could be four though. So it's three or four. Oh, the one C's down, making that a four. I'm left with a one two pair here. Ah, actually, it's resolved. The four looks back up, making that a three. This can't be three, four, or two. In fact, all of these are five or high. Hey, Orange, yeah, this is typical for Thursdays. Ah, if this were, wait, what are we saying? Not six, it's not, oh, you're thinking of less than five, not five or less. Um, let's see. Four, five, six here as well. Hey, Kian, welcome. Ah, okay, so can't it be six or seven or even five? So these are these are from five, six, seven, eight, nine, but we knew this couldn't be eight, nine. Uh, it would add to too much with the four. But I don't know how to restrict it to just seven. That's not 8, 9 either. So this is 8, 9. So it's high. Uh, ah, there's a 4, 5, 6 triple here. Okay. So first of all, these two are the same digit. So that's not a 4. And this has to be a 7 now, which is high. Um... There's definitely a two in here somewhere. The place is a four in box four. Ah, seven must be with four to add to 11, true. Ah, oh, we have a five, six pair and a four. So this is two, three. Is this eight, nine? Yeah, it is. Wait, why did I do that? I don't understand why I made that 2, 3. So it's 2, 3, 9. And then this is 2, 3, 8, 9. So we have a 2, 3, 8, 9 quad. Yeah, that makes sense because we have it here. So this is five, six, seven. Yeah, if this is a two, then that has to be a three and that breaks this cell. So this is not a two. If this is a two, that has to be a three and that breaks this cell. So that's not a two. So that places the two here. It's low.
I'm going to color these red and um, yellow. Wait, I messed up already. There we go. Ah, so one of these is a three. That can't be next to a nine. Because that's six away. So the nine's not in either of these. So we do have to do three, eight. The nine goes here. Very nice. Good argument. Um, two in row five is placed. Okay, so, um, Wait, why? Okay, let's look at this first. If we want to add to greater than 9, 2 would have to go with, at best, 7. And that is 9. So 2 can't go in this cage. So 2 is here or here. I just don't understand how it's placed. Um, oh, wherever this 8 goes, it's it's with a 2-3 pair on the Whisper. So 2 cannot go here, because that's not on the Whisper. So this is the 2, correct. Forgot about that. <clears throat> so we have all our lows accounted for. Row four, column three, this cell, ice cube? The one that's next to a one? The one that sees a one eight pair? All right, looks like we got it sorted. Um, let's see. Okay, well, this is a triple. I think it might be worth filling because we need five, six, and nine. Um, maybe not. It's nice to have it filled, though. Hmm. The eight sees up. Maybe I don't want these colored. It doesn't seem to do anything. <clears throat> ah, yeah, I haven't really looked at this one. Needs an eight or a nine. So if I try to put a seven in here, um, with, so if I try to omit, well, it can't be an 8. So if I try to omit the 9, the best I'm doing is 7, 6, which adds to only 13. Um, therefore, we do have a 9 in here. Um, but the 9 can basically just do whatever it wants. I mean, it can be with whatever digit makes sense. Um, well, not anything. It's 4 or higher, but yeah. You guys know what I mean. Um, it's not that restricted. There's a 9 in one of these, too. If 
Five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, wait. Oh, I'm getting I'm getting really tired, guys. We'll do word games after this puzzle. That's not a two. There's a nine up here, which may or may not be useful to note. We can't put a seven in here because seven has to go with a two minimum and that adds to nine already so seven is over here it can't be a two Um, I'm not sure what to do next. I'll come back, Carson. Okay, well, there's an 8 up here. You think you can resolve these polarities? Um, that's quite possible. Let's, let us let me green-purple these. That'll help me visualize. This is an eight, this is this is a three, this is a one, this is a two. If this is an eight, this is a one, this is a three. So the three is one of these two for sure. Because they can't be one or two. So the low is gonna be a three. And then the two is gonna be down here. If this were the two, this would be nine. I think that doesn't work. Wait. Yeah. Okay, so I don't think this can be 2, 3 here. If this is 2, 3 here, obviously this is 1, 8. Oops, other way around. This is 8, 1. Um, so, wait. Yeah, so this is 9, 2 now. The 9... Or sorry, the two. Sorry, no. Uh, these lows is what I'm worried about. Four one though, it does work. Okay, it does work. If this is a nine, so I think the the four. Wait. If row eight, okay, I'm reading Garyans. If row eight, column seven is a two, then row five, column seven is a one. Uh, yeah. And they take all the high digits. But, So this would be seven, nine, seven and nine. Take all the high digits. 
Oh, and this would be... Oh. Hmm? Is that a problem? This would be... Oh, because the 2 has to be with 7, 8. We, we have nowhere to put this... We, we have to double up the 7, yeah, okay. Yeah, that doesn't work. So if this is low, then this is also low, and that's a problem. Because then we have nowhere to put a 6. Wait. No. I don't think this had to be se I don't think this had to be 7 9. This could have been 6. What's the problem? I see the problem. Okay, yeah, good point. It breaks the 13 cage. The greater than 13 cage. Greater than 13 cage, we already know, needs a 9 in it. Uh, so if both of these are low, so if this is low, then this is also low, because the 2 can't be here. So if both of these are low, then we have 4 highs used. That means 9's used here. That means the 9's also here to go with the greater than 10 cage. So all the 9's are used for these columns, and there's no 9 to put in the 13 cage. So, okay, so this is 9, this is 2. Good stuff. Um, 2 has to go with 7, 8. So this places the 9 here. <clears throat> so this is 3 or 4. This is 1, 3 or 4. Does this resolve this here? Can these be low? This is high. So these can't exceed 4. Or they can't be below 4. Um, for what that's worth. Seven. I don't think it resolves this one, does it? It might. If this is a one, these two are high. Hmm. You only saw box 9 resolving? Yeah, that's all I see, too. Alright, we've limited 2 to one of these two now. Is that enough to... A, a while ago, I was looking at where 9 can go in this row. Well, 9 can't go next to the 2. So 9 is actually in one of these two cells. And the, the issue I was having is I couldn't rule it out of this cell. Wait. This 4 is on a German Whisper. That's 9, that's 8. Um, okay. Well, that was anticlimactic, but there we go. The uh, puzzle link is in is pinned, by the way. Five and column seven. Yeah, definitely. Five's up here. So this is not a five. Yeah, 
feel like that we just need one little push to get this K resolved. Uh, Lucas, there's no requirements for, for a theme or anything, but it's nice to have interesting logic. Just filling in random digits until it's unique doesn't usually make a good puzzle. Well, it helps Karsim that I've been doing this for... Let's see. How many puzzles have I done by now? Um even just on stream, a lot. I don't have the spreadsheet open. Here, let me check. This is number 114, really only. 670, that's better, yeah. One four, this is stream 114. I've done 670 70 puzzles on stream. So that that's a lot. Um, yeah, the CTC Discord server gives a lot of help with puzzle setting. There's, I have uh, a stream that I did recently with Z ZetaMath and GeoJuster where we set a uh, we set a puzzle live so you can see the process there ah yes actually 669 because the first line is the title nice i recommend solving a bunch of sudokus before you try to set one <laughs> that, that's my recommendation Let's see here. I wonder if penciling out these cells will help because if this is the eight and this is one two three if this is the one then this could be six or seven and this could be six seven or eight if this is eight then this is two three if this is the one and this could be six, uh, only six actually. C789. And this would be any of them, it looks like, other than eight. Oh no, no, seven. So six or nine. Hey, Finland, how you doing? Yeah, ones are locked here. Yeah, it doesn't really do much. Uh, oh, these locked eights here do eliminate eight from here. Oh, the one eight pair does it too. I'm just not paying attention. So, okay. If this were a one, this would be a six, seven pair, which makes that a five. It's not a problem on its own. This would be two, three. Hmm. Ah, so four, true, four goes in one of these two in the box. This goes in one of these three. I haven't found like a True way forward here. I 
Well, this is the bet cell. I added this circle myself. That's what people are betting on. This is the this is the zero in ten k. It says ranks ten k. Oh no, maybe for some reason I thought four was limited to these two, but it's not. No, it is. These fours point down. This four sees right, so four is in one of these two. And then these fours all point up, putting four in one of these three. So this is normal four. Oh, you're asking what B8 means? Yeah, it's uh, one, two. So we count the boxes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So box eight is this one. Just left to right, top to bottom. You see R1 through nine, that's rows. Column one through nine is columns. I do have um, some videos that sort of are an intro to Sudoku, classic Sudoku. Um, that start that assumes you know nothing about Sudoku and explains everything in detail. It's called. It, it, there's a playlist on my channel. Learn to love Sudoku. Um, it'll get you started on classics at least. Yeah, cheers lines are not that restrictive. I wonder if there's something about having a cheers line in almost every cell in the box that's interesting. I, I don't see how, but it, there's there's two boxes like that. Ah, okay. So if this is high, it's a six. That means if this is high, it's not a six. So it's only three or nine. Um, ah, so six is in one of these four, so it's not here. So six is in this box. Does that help? Well, Batspell, I do have 113 other streams where I do Sudokus like this, so there's plenty of content if you're interested. Row eight, column nine. Okay, so I'm supposed to fill the possibilities here. Uh, could be one, can't be two, three, four. Could be five, six, can't be seven, eight, nine. Okay, that's pretty limited. Think about the polarity of box six K. Okay, well, if this these were high, it would be six, nine, five. So this would be a one. If it's low, this is two, three, and then this is whatever it wants to be. I'm not sure I understand. The rules are explained up here. I also explained them at the start of the puzzle. Um, okay. Um,
One in column nine is in one of these two. These are cages. Cells surrounded by dotted lines are cages. If row five, column eight is a one, then you break the ones. Um, If purple is high, yeah, if purple's high, six, nine, five, then this is a one. Row seven, column seven is a one. Really? Ah, true. Okay. If these are high, let's write it out. If these are high, this is six, nine because those are the high digits. And this is five, because the nine's used. So that puts a one here. But also, that means that this is one and this is a six, seven pair. So the six, seven pair, or so the ones, wait, no, that, does, that doesn't break at all. Oh no, I got that wrong. That means this is an eight. So this is the two, three. That makes this four, and then now this sees four, two, and three. Uh, and one, so it can't be anything. It sees all the lows. So that's just broken. So this is two, three, one, eight. And that's a six, seven pair. Alrighty. So nine go. I have nine corner marked here for some reason. Yes, nine goes here. Sorry, these are low, these are high. The one sees down, making a 3 4 pair. This is a pair. We need a 4 and a 5. The 6 7 looks up, placing this 5, true, and this 8. These are not fives. These are not nines. So this has to be just the last low. That's a two. Um, this is also one five six, but that's not a one. Ah, they're not fives either. So that's six, that's one, that's five. Um, Seven in row two. Right, this seven sees up, so the only seven in row two is here. Good spot. In fact, I should fill this triple. We need one, four, six, it looks like. So that's the one. So this is three and seven. So we know the order. Oops. On load, oop, let's click. Having all sorts of problems. Okay. I just marked fives gray. Um Okay, so twos go up here somewhere, not here. So the two can't be with the nine, because that's too far away. So the nine goes here. Uh, 
One can't go in this cage. Ah, we can't put the six in here anymore because that would sum to more than nine. So that's a three, four. So that's six. That's five. Oop, that's five and that's four. So that's six and five. That's six, seven, and five. Nine can't be next to two, so that's the two, that's a two. Those are both low, these are low. Um, all right. So nine can't go in any of these cells. So nine's down here. One is, uh, this is a triple, this is one, six, eight, it looks like. This is three, four, seven. You can place the seven. Um, seven can't go next to one. This is three, four, five, nine, it looks like. That's not a nine. The nine's in one of these two, so that can't be with a three. So, uh, can't quite limit. Threes are in one of these two. <clears throat> That's three in one of these two. Uh, ah, this four sees there, that's six and four. So this is, this is filled. Uh, it's a five. This is a triple, we need a one. Six and eight. I'm not sure. Oh, this six is over. That's seven and six. Does that help? Ah, uh, five sees down. Six and five. So that's not a six. That's not a five. Ah, uh, seven can't go with one. That's a good point. Five in box two. See, it's all the way down. Four nine pair. That's not four. Ah, oh, that's not four. So that's three. That's five. Fives are gray. Um. Six looks uh this six looks up. Thank you. Your English is not gooding today? It's alright, my brain's not gooding today. Alright, um we have triples left. This is one three four. This cannot be three. And this triple Oops. This triple is five, seven, eight. Wait. Not five, seven, eight, nine. I was like, what's going on here? That's the eight. It's not eight. That's six. Um. I have too many digits in this call. And they, uh, the six here. That's one, that's four. They're both low. These are not fours. This is eight and six. Those are both high. Seven looks up. Nine and seven. Those are high. Oh, what am I missing? Eight sees up. That's one and eight. Uh, 
the one sees down, three and one. Those are low. Um, it looks like that's going to be high and that's going to be low. Okay, good. Finish the coloring before we finish the puzzle. Very important. All right, nine and four and three and four. All righty. Thanks, Math Pesto. This one little snag here of having to fill this cell and see how it interacts, that was, that was really tough, but the rest was pretty nice. Thank you. I appreciate people making puzzles for me here. Uh, we're going to do a shortened uh, version of the word games because I'm pretty tired, but I'm going to get that prepped, so just give me a moment here. Claudia is yelling at me. All right, so we are not going doing the redactyl or the semantle to save time. We can start with blankel. The butcher was blank that the delivery boy had stolen a slice of ham that morning. Um, angry? No. It does start with A. It has three A's in it. Five to eight letters long. Ah, uh, adamant is great. Is that it? There we go. All righty, Squirtle. Um, we don't have starting words, so let's just do this and go from there. <clears throat> so this word on the left has an A-L and an E in it. Um, the A is in one of these three spots. Least is a, oh no, there's no S or T in the puzzle. It can't start with A. A is third, fourth, or fifth. I wonder where this N goes. There's no, no, look at how many letters aren't in this puzzle. It's crazy. No R, T, Y, O, S, C, or B. Um, I think L is second. I think we've got something like... G-L-E-A. It can't be glean, though, because there's no N at the end. Yeah. L could be first, but then I guess it could be L-E-A. A glean with an M? Let's try it. Okay, we're on the right track. Um... We don't know much. Okay, this word we might know a bit about. Enemy? No, oh, there's no Y's in the... It could be enema. 
Um, let's try that. It is Enema. This word... Yeah, let's try starting with D. Um, oh, there's two E's in this word, so it could end in E. Um, so we're speculating this. What could that be? Maybe if we figure out this word, we can figure out what it ends in. Well, it's not bad. In fact, the L is placed here. Let's just guess dwell. Nice. So this is plead. So P. Um, we already have the E, so we don't necessarily. In fact, we know there's not two E's. Uh, well, do we know there's not two E's? We may not know there's not two E's. But we do know that there doesn't have to be another E. Um, wonderful. Can't be, can't have an L, so it comes after the P. Not an R, not an L. Um, we could go with an I or an A, not an A. I'm not sure. We're missing so many common letters. I can't construct a word. Um, like, I want to do something like prune, but there's no R. What if we figure out this word? We don't have that much info. It can't be penne, there's no N in the middle word. Um, could this start with U? Pixie. Well, then this this word would have to start with X, and I don't know how that would work. There's no L in the word, and there's no... It can't be plume or penne, actually, because there's no L in this word at all, and then this middle word here can't have an N. So it does not start with N. Um, we're pretty sure it starts with P because of the word plead. Fled? I don't know. We can use I's, U's, and E's. But only U in the middle here. Penny would not work, though so this there's this gray N. Peak. What would this word be? Q U Que que quef? I don't know. Email would work here. Oh, Q. Ugh, come on. 
True. Very good. We got it. Alrighty. Two words for Dortle. Lead an email? Sure. Um, So let's try like it and see if it's useful. Um, what? There's no A. Welcome back, Lucas. Rifle works. It's not, though. Hmm. We need to do a guess for letters. Um... Tough? Title. Okay, what's this one? Something O T E. Not oh, voter. Yeah. Hotel. It's hotel then. No, it's not. It's covet. Oh no. All right, covet title. Yeah, you, your message came through after I already locked in. See, Andrew. Most words that end in S are not in the answer list, even though votes is not technically plural. It is a plural word as a noun, so it's been removed. We got really lucky with which, but I wanted to check it anyway. Guess for letters. Um... I didn't drop any frames, so it's on YouTube's side. I like Dumpy. Well, I'd rather get the A, but... 
Well, I, I haven't dropped frames, so maybe uh, maybe YouTube's being bad. Fraud? That's not bad. Oof. Wait. There's only E's in this bottom left word? So this this is probably beach, right? Close. Bench. Mm. What this top word? Oh, incur is good. Can't be geese because there's a yellow E on the last letter. Key key works. There we go. Which incur geeky bench? You guys think it's body? Hey, Orange. Yeah. I'm going to keep body in mind. Let's see if there's any uh, better ones. Here we go. This left one is perfect. Okay. Um... Where that starts with W? Well, we can either do body or we can do a guess for letters. I mean, tweet is possible. Badly is also possible. All right, let's try to get some letters then. Um, we want to. We want the A and the O for sure. Um, we want the D and the L if possible. Oh, it can't be badly because we need to use the W. That's true. She's right here. She wants back up. No, she she wants food. <sighs> Even though she already had dinner. Loads works. All right, I'm convinced about body now. Um, something. U L C H. I don't know what else it would be. Mulch. <clears throat> Wait, there's an L and a D. Oh, is it dwell? No, there's a T. Dwelt? Yeah. 
Um, smell. Sugar. E O A R D. Cord. Wax. Waxen would <laughs> is a word, I think. Um, we can do music on the on the right side first, but I don't think it helps. Well, it can't be waken. The K is gray, so I'm gonna do waxen. Nice. We got him. Very good. Um. Okay, we'll do the set of cordal next. Body mulch small dwelt. Really checking that L. Um what is it like? Am I am I missing something here? Oh, there's an E, whale. Um, I was missing something. It was the E. It's like Flash. There's probably others, though. Is Flash the only option? No, it can't be Slash. Um, I think Flash is the only option. Nice. Uh, clearly it's dud. You can read it right there. Let's see. No idea. F something A U D? Fraud? That's not how you spell fraud, but that is how you spell fraud. Okay. Um, ends in D. It has a U in it. Wonderful. Um, H. Wait. Oh, the H is used already. So it's R something A C H. Re. Oh, is there any? There's no E. Roach. Roach. Thank you. S O is a sorry. Is there another word? Um. I think it's got to be. Okay. Um, something R A W L. Oh, there's a C, so it's crawl. This ends in double L. S something something L L. Spill. C A. Cater. R I. It's river, I think. Is there another option? Riker, no. Riker, no. I think river only. Uh, oh, there's a D. Rider. Thank you. Um, S M. Something T E. Was there an I? There's no I. Smoked. There's an O. Let's zoom out a bit. Uh, L something A something E. I think it's leave. Alright, back to this one. One L. So something L F I is it Elfin? Elfin. Um something E C something N. There's an A somewhere. Is there a P? There is, Pecan. 
All right. Um, one more tick out. Something something DID. Didn't I say it was? Oh, I said it was DUD. So close. Uh, there's a U and an N. Undid. Um, something something O something T. There's an A placed at the beginning. There's an F somewhere. A loft? Is there an L? No. It's got to end in FT, right? Oh, a foot. Nice. Okay. P O. Oh, pound. That's a good word. All right. Good job, everybody. Revertal could be. I don't know what this could be. Debo. Um. Abode or Adobe. So I think we I think we should we should um gamble this. Nice. I was always in the middle. So Was in the middle. Igloo, of course. Nice. You did it. Got lucky. <laughs> I'll take lucky today. Um, Alright, we'll do the word 500. Start with Adobe. Alright. Five new letters. Think. Five new letters. Can't do plush. Can't do plum. Ooh, I like syrup. Good one. All right, we have four of our letters, possibly all of them. Um, what should I do to test here? Syrup yesterday also. You're, you're just you're the syrup syrup girl. Uh well here's where we actually try to figure out the word, ideally. Um we can test so there's two options. If we're really not sure, we can think of the letters that are most likely not in the word and make a word out of those just to get them read, just to confirm what we're thinking is right. So like probably the D and the B are not in the word, so we could make a word D and B and then like probably not the K. So like if we made a word out of that, that would be pretty neat. Um, Maybe something from here that's unlikely, like a P. So like 1D, 1K, 1P would be great, or even a DNP. Um, that's my thought. I like getting all grays in a guess. How about poker? That's got some common letters in it. Poked is better. 
Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna assume we caught a vowel. Um that means O or E is in, so those are out. So we can confirm this by using hmm. Oh no, dapper is two P's. You think bulk will do some things? I'll just type it. Yeah, it does do things. Um We should we should figure out if it's the O or the E here. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, uh. We know only one of OE is in. No, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done E and O again. S does not have to be green. Okay, one of EO is in, one of SR is in. I think that means the N is out. We could say the S got placed. What would that look like? We'd have to use two from THI out of place. So maybe end in TH. And then we'd need to use an O or an E. I mean, what about O? Oh, no, but we can't use the O there, so it would be O-T-H. That sloth is not possible. It doesn't have to be the T-H, so we could do S. Or the, the um, S, E, no. What if we place the E and not the S? What does that look like? Um... So that means the S would be out. Let's say the S is out and the E got placed. That would be how that would turn out. We'd have N, O, or R in. Not the O. We'd have N or R in. Oh, we wouldn't have a green here in syrup, so that doesn't work. Oh no, the green could be the R in syrup. So that does work. Just like that. N is out. So it would be something E R T H. Or H E R and then an I or a T somewhere. Merit. I like it. Yes. Good job, Nebu. 
Ah, oh, he got it. <laughs> that was tough. Very good. Okay. Uh, I hope you guys don't mind if I skip Wordsy today, because I'm tired and it's late. So we're going to go straight to the Zordal. Um... Let's see. Oh. We've got six letters. We haven't placed the A yet. Is there a word with U Y like that? Um, I can't think of one. Maybe U R Y. Ooh, saucy. So we haven't placed the DR or T yet. Study is good. That's a huh. Okay. Um <laughs> so S T I'll consider adding Fibble. Not tonight, though. Okay, if we want to test Skunk, let's let's get a word with... Let's try to place the A and get a word with K and N in it. Um, so... We know A is, oh, we know A is second, right? What do I need to place? The R. Um, all right, I'll just try Stunk and see what happens. It's not. And we gain almost nothing from that. Okay, so can we start with A? We oh no, we know what A ray is. It's the R. We haven't really tried R in any places. How about I do Harry? There we go. I place the R, and there's an H. So it's H A R. Oh, it's Hardy. Nice. And then S T U stuff. Nice. Hardy stuff. <clears throat> Job, everybody. Wordle Peaks, we'll start with stuff. Make sure we're on random. Um. Uh, 
It ends in S. Could it end in double S? It could. Let's try double S. Yep. Um, A miss. Yeah, got it. All right, we start symbol with a miss. All right. Um, we gotta get a word with a starting with A. It all works, but I don't like the double L. A lot is much better. All right, so maybe we start with S. Oh, zero. We do start with S. And then this letter is probably a U or a P. Um, not. What? What's that? What else is there? Shock. Nice. I thought that was pretty good. Swap word. Bottom word ends in B. Could be rub. Oh, but the U's in this word. Let's find out where this U goes. Okay, so it's U B. What did it start with? S? Or we don't know. There was a C here, right? So scrub would would make sense. Um there we go. Oh, there are two U's. It is rub. So let's get the, oh, let's get this R down. Rub. And then now I can place this one. It was scrub, so we need the U. Where'd the U go? We need the other U. We gotta get this out. Now we know there's an R here. How did the R end up over there? Well, we never put the R, I think. This M has to come out. Where's this M live? M lives up here. Oh. Um. The I goes in this word too. Mists. Nice. Forty six. Not bad. 38's optimal, so. Okay, I'm gonna check the leaderboard, see if it's okay to show it. Okazu, I got first on 6-3, but I do 6-2 right now. Um,
All right, looks clear to me. So, good job, Sari and Omega. I don't know who that is. This guy's usually near the top first. Okay. That's me. Sandy Burnt, I recognize. Geo, okay. Hello. Hey, Lucas and Okazu. Hello again. All right. Ooh, this cat's name is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight letters long. Hmm. Um, it's not Oreo then. Ooh, what's this cat's name? Okay, well I've got a I've got an eight letter. Ooh, Percival. Nice. Okay. Um, Oreo, Oreo. <laughs> C R I don't know. Give me a sec. I have starting words for different lengths. Okay, I'm gonna guess smudged. Okay. To be hmm. So the letters we have. Mr. Muscle? No, it can't be. I think it seems like you can guess any any eight letter word. Um Mr. Makes sense though, Mr. Ooh, Crumbles. I like it. Aw, it is Crumbles. She she is named Crumbles. Oh, I am five one seven four two oh three one. Okay. I think that's not correct. I think this is Crumbles. Well done. Hello, Crumbles. You're very cute and up for adoption in Beverly Hills, CA. All right. One day this will be Bilbo. One day it'll be Bilbo. Not today. Not today. Um... <laughs> oh, chump. Darn it. You do punch. Nothing. Um. Terribly, this isn't like Twitch where I can just change the title and not have it affect the earlier part of the stream. So we did four hours of Sudoku and we're doing an hour of board games. So yes, it's a Sudoku stream. Yeah, we're close to five hours live. Um, I 
No, it's not correct. I just wanted to get letters. Okay, we place the A. I don't know, is it something A, L, D? There's no Y. Oh, maybe Galda? I don't know. Walda? Hey, it's Walda. I got it. That couldn't have been correct. Place nothing. Need letters. There's a U. So we have U O T E R. Oh, it's outer. <clears throat> All right, how's our stats? Okay, 43 streak. Space and light. I could have done final. Um, David is the name of Kirk's son. It was a perfect guess. No complaints on that one. Um, AI then? Faith of the Heart? No, there's no TH. Um, I don't like Bumpy. Very. Okay, so it's AI then? It could be IA, but let's assume not. <laughs> Rocky as the zoomies. Um, what is an I? We haven't test. We haven't tried OU yet. Wound is the best thing I can come up with, or mound might be better. But that D, D's not in. There we go. Yeah, stream's gonna end very soon, so no worries. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, there's an O. Oh, Naomi, Naomi. Got it. We can look at our stats if you want. 82 streak. All right, Magic and Lumos. Um, darn. Where's this A go? Does it end in A? Like Ella?
Neba. Uh, what's a good guess for letters here? I want to test A at the end. Or I could test A at the start and that places A at the end. Um, Alexa. Darn it. <laughs> um, Alexi? I don't know. <laughs> PLE Leba. Your count's down to fifteen. <laughs> no one wants to finish this stream. I'm trying to guess for placements. I don't know. I don't know a word that starts with A. Apparently, um, I'd like A L. Elena. I could do Elena. Nope. Um. Agora. Okay, it ends in A. Still can't think of anything. Okay, now I just need letters and maybe to place the L. Um, but I don't know what to do. I'm actually thinking that is more likely. <laughs> is pause here? Pause is probably sleeping. Well, maybe not. Um, she might be awake by now. I tried Alexa actually, and it can't start with A anymore. Um, how about nymph for letters? None of those letters. Well then. This is going to be a painful. Yeah, these are swapped and it's extremely confusing. I agree. Um, Neba. I don't really want to go through all this. Um, give me a sec. Give me a sec. We have an L and an E and an A. And the, the dark letters are the ones that are left. So there's another A, right? No, not necessarily. Oh. 
In fact, there can't be. There can't be another A. There could be another E. Um, but it's either something L, E, something A, or it's something, something E, L, A. And these dark letters are what we have. Mm -hmm. I think we tried Elena. I don't think Elena is a character in Harry Potter. Yeah, it doesn't accept it. Is there something like this? We tried Alexa, but it can't have double A anyway. Not that I recall. And it can't have an X either. We can have an X. Oh, isn't it grayed out? I told you the one the letters we oh, have are the dark gray the ones. Dark gray one's opposite. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. opposite from all the other games. Mm. Eliza? Nope. Is Vila a thing? Vila is a thing. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Nebu got it. Who's Vila? Oh, Vila is a, it's like a, a hybrid person. So they, they're a type of person. <laughs> Vila is a type of person. Got it. That's very helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Shard and Lope in here. Um, but rainy. What? How could rainy not be accepted? Um, how about grain? Nope, the A line's up. Species of vaguely bird like ladies who throw fire. Okay. Hey, lovely bridge, welcome. Um,. Well, I'm sure Rainy would, if I was, if I was able to scrape the actual books, it would come up, but apparently it's not in the wiki anywhere. They never say Rainy. Um, how about Train? Oh, it doesn't end in N. Okay, so could it be Rain? Raina? Rainy? Rain? Rainu? Um... Rain. There's no T. This keyboard is not backwards. Yep, stream's almost over. It doesn't have to be rain something. Near Mirac. Car. I don't know. Trying everything. I don't know. Let's, um, Uh, 
I don't know. Why is not deer in the wiki? Um, it still could be R A I N. Nope, it's not. Nadir is a name. Oh, let's see what this fourth letter is, um, or at least narrow down what it could be. So, guess for letters. I don't mind starting. Well, okay. So it's either R here or it's R here. So it could be something A R, and then would have to be N and I. Um, Nadir is a word, but it's probably not in the... I was surprised that Nadir would be in the Cosmere Wiki. We'll try all these. Marnie. Got it. it. Of course it was the last letter on the keyboard. <laughs> okay. I <sighs> wonder what that one is. Um, oh, um, I don't know, Germany, Austria. San Marino. Oh. oh gosh, crashed it. It's it's um Albania. No, what am I thinking of? Not Albania, the one that's here. Uh. Uh, not look. Is it Liechtenstein? No, it's the one that's it's the one that's here. Slovenia. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. Grand Plaza. It is pretty grand. Grand Place. Not Plaza, Place. Groot Markt. They have diamonds here. What flag is this? I see yellow and red. Ooh. Belgium? That would make sense. So we're going to play the game properly and we're just going to click in Belgium, maybe in Brussels, and see how our circle ends up. Ooh, nice. So where is Grand, Pla or Grand Place in this circle? Grand place. Uh, 
Maybe I should use satellite. Is it this? Doesn't look like it. Why can't I find it? It's not this. Oh, is it blurred in the satellite? Maybe not. See ya, Terra. This is the last thing anyway. Once I find Grand Place. I don't know where it is. Where's Grand Place? Oh, it's right here. Okay, so we're we're kind of up here then. It maybe it is the blurry place. It would be labeled something like here. The circle doesn't get close enough for me to. Is it this thing? No. I'm almost out of guesses. Grand Casino. The the thing above my head is a clock, not a timer. You saw it? Where? What? Thought you said it was near the green thing, so it's north of the green thing. There it is. No? Oh, it's here? No. I have one more guess. Can't find it. This literally says Grand Place right there. I can't find it. I don't think the satellite's helping. Oh, here it is, Grand Place Market Square. All right, got it. Okay, that'll be the stream. We've got lots of people to thank today.
Thank you to P, Andrew Sarkis, David Ratner, and Screaming Ice Cube for the super chats today. Also, thank you very much to my super supporters, Pause, The Asylum, Peter, Distensity, David Ratner, Sotek, Franco, and Jonathan. Uh, Sotek used his powers today to uh, get a puzzle to skip the queue, so if you want to do that, you can become a super supporter and use that. Uh, thank you to all my members and all my patrons, and thank you to everyone who hung out with me today. And um, I don't stream tomorrow, I take Fridays off, but I have two streams on Saturday. So I've got a morning stream and an evening stream on Saturday. The morning is Sudoku, the evening is the normal time for my daily word games. So hope to see you in one or both of those, and don't forget to like the stream on your way out, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll see you guys next time.